Tweeting out right now. There we go. I'm dead air. Take it. Take this monologue. Shove it up your fucking ass. Uh oh. Demonetize. He likes bad movies. Yep. There he is. Bald and ugly. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, Bald. we're early. Bald. Bald. Ugly. Ba -ba 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 bald and ugly. He's so bald and ugly. He's just ugly and bald. He's ugly. Bald, 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 bald. Ba -ba 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 bald. Yeah, I'm gonna do this for the entire hour and a half of the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Tree? I think I have. Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah, crazy. You hold. Yeah, you hanging in there. You going crazy? Oh, I've been crazy. Come on, we all know. I've been that. crazy. Oh, look, everyone's reading my uh, my DMs right there. <laughs> hey, Everyone that's knows. why you didn't respond to my DM, you asshole. Yeah. No, what I'm the in. Fuck? I'm on the floor right now. I'm in this cur the LG Twins group chat, and like. They seriously talk every two minutes, and I'm like, I can't keep up with y'all. Y'all just always, yeah, I haven't even responded to anything because they're always talking, man. But I'm standing the LG Twins in the Korean baseball. Have you caught any games, or are you asleep? I haven't been able to. Um, as I said, I moved in with my mother a little bit ago, and she doesn't have cable. I, I finally moved back, so I might be able to watch some Korean baseball. If the second wave of infection apparently doesn't come, it's low. on ESPN. It's apparently it's in, not the room. Yeah, well, it's in, it's in the morning, and you gotta you gotta wake up and like this morning the NC Dinos came back on whoever they played, and uh, oh shit, Jared Brussel starts us off with fifty dollars. <sighs> Damn, he says I wish I could donate five hundred for Tree to shave his head. But I can't. I miss you. You guys are amazing. Amazingly ugly. So he gives us money and then insults us. Oh, That's what they do. That's all they do. They that's, throw, we're that's, monkeys. That's we're just here to like You're bitch right. and be ugly. I mean, we already know we're ugly. That's why we've embraced this. It's like, whatever. You're not as ugly as I am. I'll say that. So you can feel better about yourself. You at least have that pit bull style. I'm like a pasty white motherfucker. And if I don't... Like, Cut my hair and shave it. I look like a twelve-year-old Eli Manning. It does not look. You, yeah, you're not that attractive. I was just trying to make no you feel shit. better. No shit. What do you <laughs> think, man? I was. What do you think? I rarely go on camera. Fuck. I know. I would. I would say I looked decent when I was like thirty-five. Like, that's that was my peak of my life when I was say thirty-five well, years old. That's when I you was... had a real gerb. Yeah, all that shit. I had a real gerb, you know. I, I was very, I had a, I, I was uh, rich. I wouldn't say rich. I was powerful, and I traveled the country doing dumb shit. And now I tell them. Well, you got paid handsomely for it. Dick jokes on the internet. Yep. Yep. Now I'm a bald, ugly you know man. Know what we all do now? Look at this. Look at this gray hair just all over my face. I'm like, yeah. They took my gerb. All right, so let's cover the main topic of the show as the super chats pile up here. Oh, Stormus Enormous thinks the tree's handsome. Mm -hmm. That sounds like some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, you're handsome in like a retarded way. Like, like an extra chromosome way. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, I'm just saying, like, you're handsome in like if you were the last man on earth, I guess some chick would be like, eh, all right. Nah, not really. They probably let everything go extinct. Could you imagine if you had to had to populate the world and there'd just be a bunch of salty yinzers from one Death by Snoo Snoo? Mm -hmm. eh. All right, so the MLB. 
So back in March, the MLB reached an agreement with the players. Thanks, by the way, Jared Bruss. I see you with another $25. We'll read that in the order it came in. Uh, back in March, the MLB reached an agreement with the players to prorate their salaries and uh, essentially base it on an 81-game season, provided that everything was kind of back to normal. And they did not really foresee how bad it would be. So yesterday, the MLB comes back with a proposal that essentially cuts the player salaries in half. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. So basically what the MLB came back to the table, they said, look, we're not going to have any in-person revenue. That's 40% of the overall revenue, 50% of the local market. Um, we They offered to essentially split the revenue, the profits 50-50 with the players. And the players came back and said, that's basically a salary cap. So you're at this sort of impasse of, all right, we want to restart by July, yet the players are pushing back on the initial agreement. The first time it was signed relatively easy with very little pushback. Now they're kind of, I see a black flags matter. I, I see you. I see where the players are coming from, but I think at the same time, they're kind of being unrealistic, right? What, what are you, what are your thoughts on that? I feel like with baseball, they just want to get like a head start and just play because they want to salvage at least some. With everything going and like haywire, like the NBA is going through doubts now, the NHL will be having doubts. Like they have held hope. But the moment I knew they suspended the season, I had a feeling like, yeah, NBA, NHL is canceled. MLB, they have a chance, but problem is nobody's going to come to the table, uh, especially – I was not worried about the money. I was more worried about travel and logistics So the other money, thing – yeah, the other part of this proposal is it's it's not in, say, an isolated area. They're, they're not going to limit it to Florida and Arizona. They're going at the actual facilities. So Yeah, uh, L.A. is locking down until July, apparently. There's no way that that's going to work. Well, New the, York's still having issues. Yeah, well, what they could do, again, is they, they're saying it, in June it would be a month-long spring training, too, and then they'd restart at each market by July 4th. And they, you know, they'd have assured each state uh, that they would follow all these guidelines. And I'm just like, uh. and then, you know, the okay, players. How are you going to get the travel? How are you going to make everyone safe? You're not going to be able to lock down everything. It only takes one for this shit to spread and ruin everything. Yeah, it's it, all the NBA takes, it only takes one Rudy Gobert to fuck it up. Mm -hmm. What's ironic is, is okay, the UFC just happened last weekend. Or was did they weekend? did they have their private island? They did not have their own private island or their Ooh, own private well, island. What a mortal combat! Come yeah, on, they didn't fight to the death on uh, Kung Fu Island. That's a SpongeBob Stupid. reference right there, um, and. Everyone give me props for bringing up Kung Fu Island. Thank you. Um, it's just uh, Ra D'Souza, uh, Jacare caught coronavirus before, and they were like, they just swept that under the rug. They're like, oh, yeah, one of our undercards had coronavirus, but we're just going to remove him from the, from the card. I and, remember uh, reading. Yep. And Nick Man behind me hits me with jacking off is definitely a sport. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, that's pretty much what it's going to come down to. The World Series jack. Well, it's something Eating that can people be done. Win first prize in every event. Right. It's something that can be done from And home. that includes who can get off to the most fucked up. That's true. That's true. You ever, like, uh, it, 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 what, what's the criteria for jacking off as a sport? Like, Quickest jack off, fastest, you know, like longest jack off, like there'd be jack off marathon. Um, I don't know. Like, m I guess load volume would be another one, right? Well, load volume, distance. Distance would be uh, another longevity, one. Longevity, how long, how uh, both speed and longevity, like the quickest come. 
the lo- the um, lengthiest, the endurance run, I would say probably a style. Maybe it could be like like wet dreams or something. I think uh, accuracy's got to be another one. Like you have like oh, they set up a like, tar- um, target, right? Like, yeah, it's like horse. Yeah. It does definitely like maybe there's like a pentathlon of jacking, right? So like some guys are shooters, other guys are dribblers, you know, like the shooters would definitely excel in the accuracy department, but the dribblers, they would, you know, they'd be more with the, the vo- load volume. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jacking off the sport with only one, one winner. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I saw that video and uh, EDP uh, leverages kite flying against jacking off, and so EDP would probably win every event. I'm sure. I'm sure. A guy that can name 200 porn stars probably very skilled at jacking off. Very skilled. I'm, I'm good at it too. To really I, you know, I might not bring it like there's got to be like a master's category, right? Like over 40. Like they got to do it by age group weight height like they got to have different weight classes for sure you know maybe there's an open division (laughs) of course the female division would fund the whole thing right (laughs) the female division would probably be men that's how it always is i'm just saying in the one case where women are compensated way more than men uh Yes. It'd probably be the female division at that rate. Oh, wow. You're getting really, really. That's uh, probably what it's going to be. It's like, you know, women's, uh, they want to think they're women. So why not, you know, put them in? Well, yeah. I mean, if you can ejaculate, then you're like, Oh, yeah. yeah. If, um, if, 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 you know, transgender athletes can compete in women's events, why not in jacking off? If, hey, if we're talking distance, there's no way that it's, a squirter is going to take that for sure. Like that's like a 10 foot thing, you know? Uh huh. Oh yeah. All right. Let's start reading. Some so anyways, back to the MLB before I cut it down, uh, I'm just praying that it comes <laughs> with a, for, for lack of a better term that the MLB comes in July and that there's baseball, but I just I don't know how this plan is gonna work. I man. don't think anything's gonna happen at this rate. Like it's gonna be the logistics more than anything. Because people are scared, they don't wanna contract the virus, and they don't wanna be away from their families dealing with lesser pay and risk. They don't wanna be monkeys. They don't wanna deal with this shit. Yeah, but could you imagine how okay, half your salary or even say sixty, seventy percent of your salary, if say they negotiate it, is still better than zero, right? Still better than most zero. of those athletes have money saved up, and they probably can hold out. Until yeah, later. the only ones that are really hurting are the dudes with the league minimum. Yeah, like the guys that are. So, like, like I mean, for example, you're a LeBron James. He doesn't have to worry about. He doesn't right. want to play in front of no fans. Yeah, it's the median income that's going to be hurt. You know, or the the lower end guys that basically live in poverty. But hold on, let me look at this uh, behind us. No, so this is when behind me is when the Orioles played in an empty stadium. This is what's gonna look. That was free. That was because of riots. I tell you, you know what? Watching the Korean baseball league, it's not bad without the fans. You know, it's baseball. It's live baseball. And, um, I don't know this, this shit really makes me worry for the NFL. There's going to be no fans when the NFL comes back for sure. If it does. Yeah. I, I the think NFL will probably be headstrong and try to push, but I mean, Jacksonville's already lost their like main home base in London. Yeah. Well, all what right. What are they going to do without London or Mexico? Black Flags Matter saying, ever seen Brickyard 400 stand pick? Yeah, well, who wants to go to Indy to watch a NASCAR race? Most NASCAR events are are empty nowadays. I tell you, Bristol got ruined. Yeah, well. Um, Texas, uh, Las Vegas, Charlotte kind of got empty. Chicagoland, yeah. 
So, like, as I said, NASCAR's having trouble. They've yeah. been having trouble for years. And but they're going to be the only live sports coming back. That's happening PGA for Tour. sure. I think what's better about NASCAR is they've got a kind of a better plan. They're going to do the races in a more isolated area. They don't mm -hmm. need to have as much contact with each other. Yeah, you know, the obviously. only thing is the pit crew. Like uh, PGA Tour is the other one, but also that's you're able to isolate easier. I think it's they just should make uh, it. Culver and his cat. Right. I think they should make it where the driver has to get out and do all his own shit. Like, just <laughs> like, go ahead, gas up. Come on, man. Just and he's just, he's just waiting there as all the cars go around. He's like, yep. Yeah. How do you yeah, distance with a pick the tire? Crew? That's going to be the only problem, unless they do shorter races. I, you know what? I think they're doing some shit where they're just they're just packing these races in, man. Now, like, like a segmented race would make sense in this situation because you don't yes. have to worry about a super fast pit crew. You can take your time changing up everything and then go back on the track. I just I think the driver should only have one other dude, and it should be like his mother-in-law changing all this shit. He's like, "You got to drive faster, Jimmy." Come on. Uh-huh. And yeah, I baked him a nice batch of pork cookies on the app. Yep. All right, let's get to some snapper chat. So ultimately my conclusion is is like I just hope there's baseball. Like I think the players are right some. yeah, to push back, but don't push back too hard. We don't want to see nineteen ninety four all over again. Fucking get your shit together and hopefully everyone stays safe and um and no one catches the Rona, which is going to happen. Yep. It doesn't matter the litigation. It's it spreads happen, asymptomatically. It's as I said, happen. South Korea apparently is worried about another outbreak because some dude decided to be a swinger at bars and spread it to like four different areas. Mm. He was just trying to get so. Some, he's just trying to get laid, man. Hey, trying to get laid. We all got to get laid, but. Yeah. Most of us are getting cup. Wow. Imagine, have you seen those commercials for a match where people are dating like online, like doing vert Zoom no. dates? Imagine breaking no. quarantine and it's just like, okay. And you're like, man, I risked my life for that. <laughs> hmm. I should have just stayed home and entered in the Jack Off tournament. Mm. Oh, that's a winner right there. All right. Yep. Let's start with some snooper chats. Taylor Phillips, host of the Michigan Sports Truth on the Stables Network. Thoughts on Armando Galarraga wanting his perfect game back in 2010 with the Tigers. Um, I love it. Uh, I, I, for someone, it's just weird that Galarraga would talk about it now when he handled it so well when it happened. You know, he was just there's like, nothing else to talk about. And yeah. to be fair, he really did get fucked over. He got. Fucked I thought they over. changed that to where it wasn't perfect. No, they haven't. Like they they had a review. Like basically, Manfred was like, we can't go back in time and make it a perfect game. But it was a perfect game. Like everyone knows. Like I think I think it's like Eddie Shore and his fucking perfect game where he picked off where Babe Ruth cussed out the umpire, and then Eddie Shore comes in and picks off the first runner and retires twenty six batters later. Like. It should be in the record books. They should just give it to them. But they won't, though, no, because the MLB is all about the reputation of the game. That umpire, then, what's his name? Ju Judge? Ju the dude with the oh, mustache. Jim Joyce. Jim yeah, Joyce. Joyce. Jim Joyce. He even admitted, he was like, dude, I fucked up. But you know, when you watch that at regular speed, you kind of see where you're like, all right, that was close. Problem is, it's the angle. Yeah. Just like in the jack off tournament, it's all about the angle. Mm -hmm. You don't want to ever jack off and like shoot yourself in the eye. You don't want to be Ralphie from um, a Christmas story. I shot my eye out. It's happened. L. Chris, hey guys, doing food deliveries because I need cash. All right. Uh huh. Apparently, restaurant owners hate DoorDash and um. Well. There were a lot of issues, like a, a local Red Lobster in an Olive Garden just got wrecked. From like they, their uh, a to-go order system didn't take into consideration the kitchen length, and most of those are on skeleton staff. So you had like hundreds of people waiting outside for hours, and then being told, "Nope, I'm sorry, we don't have any food because we ran out." 
because, I mean, the person who did the online ordering, they didn't put quotas on it, and <laughs> somebody should be fired over that, but they, they got pretty fucked up on Mother. I've been impressed by my local infrastructure here handling the uber eats or the DoorDash or olive garden has been pretty good the only problem with olive garden is you can't use the app anymore you have to call them in and if you if you order really gone out oh if you order red lobster for delivery you deserve to wait in line for a couple hours and the ensuing diarrhea from whatever cheap shrimp that you ate uh let me finish this from l chris not sports related But have you made any great food while in quarantine? So my mom taught me how to cook Thai food, and I'm starting to get sick of Thai food. (laughs) I'm also just been cooking with my mom, too. Like, we made a couple nice um, uh, stuffed, like, ham and cheese breads, a couple different breads, chili. I made a nice chili, Mm. Um, vegetable medleys with a mixture of rice, corn, uh, squash. Were there uh, notes of sour cream and onion in it? No, no sour cream. Uh, diced onions and mushrooms. Oh. Dude, onions but, are um, so good. You're making me want to get on turn. sale, so they've yeah. been pretty good. So mostly just been cooking rice and beef, chicken. Have you so found I'm any? Mostly... Go ahead. So that's all we've really been doing is cooking, and unfortunately, my waistline has not been doing well because there's just you know food. It's I like, oh tired. look, let's let's make some food. It's good. Yeah. I'll tell you something I ate yesterday. I ate a cookie yesterday. Uh-huh. And uh, let's just say I had a had a, a, a mini anxiety attack because the effects of that cookie were a little bit too powerful. And so in order to curb that, I went and created a tax calculator on Google Spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I, so I wouldn't have any anxiety attack because this cookie that I ate was a little t- too powerful. So it, it's like it's what those quarantine cookies do. Yep. So instead of that commercial where it's like this is your brain on drugs, your brain on drugs is a spreadsheet in Excel, <laughs> and you're just I I need to occupy myself for two hours until I can calm down a little bit. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. Anyways, that happened. Alex Moreno, I want you read this incredible string of Alex Moreno's. There's like 8 of them. He's just spending Alex his entire paycheck Moreno. on us. He mm-hmm. is going crazy. Yes, it was a CBD cookie. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Always a CBD cookie. So he's probably on one right now. <laughs> Got it from my neighbor too. Like Alex was- Moreno, uh, the uh the person that does those uh, remixes and makes us sing. Because yeah. we're, I think he's we're horrible people. Thing. Yeah. Ken says hi. Why is everyone sleeping on the Rams? Didn't you bitch about the Rams repeated? Yeah. Come on, Alex. Yeah, come on, Alex. Don't don't no. Really? Don't don't flip this. Yeah. Rams had a really good draft. Seattle just emulated last season where the only pick worth a damn was DK Metcalf and a bunch of scrubs we never saw. Seattle has Russell. That's why. Yeah. They wasted well. a first rounder on Jordan Brooks. 2019, they had the most picks in the draft. 78% of those guys were projected for the supplemental draft. You mean being undrafted? Because supplemental is um I don't know. You have I'm, to I sacrifice just, picks. It's I, like people ineligible for the main draft. I love Alex, but his bias just comes through. He's yeah. hardcore bias. It's the quarantine's but getting to him. But that's his thing. Yeah. Why is Seattle so overrated? They <laughs> want a playoff game against a dead Eagles team only to get completely exposed as frauds by a limping Packers team. Because the Seahawks were injured to fuck. They had no running backs. Yeah. They were bringing they no out line. Marshawn Lynch again. Yeah. And Marshawn was worried about getting your chicken and Skittles. And keeping everything tight. Mm-hmm. The Seahawks are frauds. They have no depth at all. Uh, Waggina Wag Gina isn't even the best MLB law. Wilson will break David Carr's QB sack record. In no, two he won't. No, he can run. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I was watching highlights of David Carr's first game in Houston. <laughs> like, literally, oh, game one, he just starts getting crunched like popcorn in a bag that's just being punched like over and over again like that's how fucking bad david carr got it from the opening snap of his career until and then the end of that year 48 is way less than 76 buddy 
No, 76, yep. not 53. He got sacked 76 times. You got your numbers wrong. Because I was looking. I, 76 I, times. Yeah. That's like, what is 16 divided by 76? 76. Someone do some math. Here, God damn huh. Hold on. I'll figure it out. 76 divided by 16. That's like 4.75 a game. That's fucking, that's just, he got anal sexed every day. Like he was just like, he, he put on his pads and then he could put on lube. And trust me, he wanted the lube. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants the lube. 4.3 a game. God damn it. Trevor Teonmana, today is my brother's 17th birthday. And I would like to remind Mr. FPV that unlike the Rangers, the Pens got Stanley Cups for their future Hall of Fame tender. You think Matt Murray's going to the Hall of Fame? I thought it was Mark Andre Fleury. No, I'm just I'm chirping back. Mm -hmm. I'm chirping and back at Trevor Teormina, thinking, oh, yeah, Henrik Lundqvist. Henrik Lundqvist is a diva. Fleury he should only throw got... more nets around and pout on the net. Did Fleury get one or two cups? He got two. He was the um, he had that one like he was the starter in 2016. Then he got injured, and then Murray took over. Yeah. So he only got actually two out three, of the three. Three. Wait, he got three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was last 2017. So 2008, 2016, 2017. He did he did play in both of those playoffs. So, ooh, look at this. All right, my Twitter feed is just crazy right now. Crazy. Look at that. All right. Did you bitch about Edwin Diaz again? No, I did not. James Amaday, only a brick wall can stop you, MLB, and its name is Gavin Newsom. I wonder if Dodger Stadium will be reconfigured to seat 22,000 social distancing. There are not going to be any crowds, probably forever. I doubt they're going to have any crowds, at least for the long-term future. Not until they get a vaccine, and even then. I'm thinking that uh here's some things that are over right from this potluck that's never happening again right like you're never going to go into office and someone's going to bring a dish right that's that's done wouldn't you say there's not there's never going to be a potluck at work it's just gonna be a thing where i brought coronavirus and also this nice potato salad yeah yeah, no one's going to eat food from somebody else now. It's done. It's done. All right, you read Maybe. Dodges, and then we'll bring her in if she's here. I think I saw her in the room. Yes. Dodger Zion, college football risk is over. So other than Korean baseball for breakfast, I've got nothing until who the hell knows at this point. All right, Dodge, come on in. What's up? Hey, y'all. How you doing? You alive? Well, co yeah, I'm alive. College football risk is over, so there's that. Oh, yeah. Who won it? Who won it all? Ohio State w wound up winning the second season. Texas A&M came in second. Oh, it's the Our only time own... they've ever come in second in anything. I think it's their first top four finish in anything in Ag will be able to tell you, but he was actually the the commander in chief of the A and M contingency for college football risk this year, and I, I'm really oh. proud of the job that he did this year. Yeah, I was actually a mercenary for A and M this season. Gotcha. But yeah, and also Texas came in last. Nice. So you can laugh. You can laugh at the Longhorns. So that's what I've been doing with myself now that sports is gone for the time being. You gotta become a NASCAR fan, man. Woo! And Korean baseball. I do like how Korean baseball is in the morning, but the fucking game start at 5.30, okay? Like, I only catch the tail end of the game. Well, the good thing about the game starting at 5.30 is that I wake up to them. So I'll just put ESPN2 on, play Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt over and over and over again when they're playing old shit. And I wake up, and there's baseball, and what's, that's quite nice. I get to have breakfast and baseball. What's your team? 
Uh, I don't have a team yet. Um, my my fanhood for uh, KBO is very much. I like the so... LG Twins. The uh, hold on, what what team did I look up today? That there's one team, the uh, Matt Williams team, is uh, like the Yankees of the KBO. Hold on. Uh... Well, I do like the Dino. From what I've been watching, I yeah, do the Dinos have, have are like a the... new. Yeah, they're they're like a newer team, but the um, I think it's the Lions or the Tigers that win all the time. Yeah, the Doosan Bears so, are good. So that... Yeah, yeah, it's the Tigers, yeah, I... the Kia Tigers. They fucking they've won like eleven Korean series. Mm-hmm. Oh, what probably the, the only on thing that face. Oh, it's the reflection. The only time that, that Kia Ki has won much of anything. Yeah. Well, they make good, solid cars, man. They know how to get their way to the championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say a hard X on that, but then again, I also have American automobile bias. Mm-hmm. When you're when you're raised by somebody who works for Ford for as many decades as you, you've do, been brainwashed and indoctrinated. Up, yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by, letting us know. Are you going to do an afterburn tonight? Actually, not. I'm not only doing an afterburn tonight, but I am also doing a complete rebranding of my stream tonight. Oh. I I actually commissioned an artist in Texas to do some nice. graphics for title cards and whatnot. I'm actually going to send you one of those if you would like to put it up on stream so that everybody can... Uh, I'm gonna. I would. I would like the guy, the people watching the dumpster fire tonight, to get a sneak preview of what is in store for tonight. So I'm sending it to you now, and you can put it up on the the screen. Five. It's sending to your Discord PMs. It might take a minute because okay. it's a high resolution graphic. Because very nice, and I there I is. saved some money for this. So wow! There you go. Look at that. Can I bring it? In, yeah. Put that up in. on the screen so everybody else can see that. Uh, wow. That is my mascot. Ka- mascot Kyle Estes getting ready for some football. Football. Oh, the football. football. That's that's dope right there. So yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot more of that for for my streams moving forward. But tonight is the, when the rebrand starts, and it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing how what everybody thinks of it. So thank you for having me on. And hopefully, hopefully the next time we, we do the dumpster fire, things look a little more solid and we're a little less morose about this damn virus. Yeah. Well, we got like six more months of it. Six so, well, more we got, months well, of hell. Four months until football. Hopefully knock on wood. Hmm. All right. I'll see y'all. Around. See you later. Peace. See y'all. Alligator. All right, read these Alexes here. Tree. Still there? Yeah. Read these Alex Morenos, man. Huh. Sorry, it's just like it's getting all digitized on me. The stream or the the voice channel? Well, I'm probably. Alex Moreno for two. Gentlemen, enjoy the lyrics. New song coming soon. Yeah, it's a long and one. I'll actually... I don't know if we're going to sing it tonight. T- we will. Yeah, I get... We'll fucking sing it. What the hell? The internet strikes again. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. Really? Not this again? Not this again. <laughs> like, it says... Like, Everything's fine. What's going on? Your internet got coronavirus. Yeah, my internet has pretty much got coronavirus. Oh, you sound good right now. Start reading. Start reading now. Go. All right. I'll actually get... Um, Gentlemen, enjoy the lyrics. New song coming soon. And I'll actually get the instrumental parts myself. Ooh. It's going to play a little guitar for us again. Very nice. Very nice. James Amaday for two. Real question, will USC play football this fall? There's not going to be I don't know football. if any college football is going to play. No, because their stipulation is that the schools have to be – they can't just do college football and not have the schools open. 
and they're not going to open those schools. They're not going to be able to. Yeah. I don't blame them because the college football like student athletes should not take the risk of having to deal with this shit if nobody else is going to school. Yeah. So what do you do about the kids that are uh, going to be like at home do, or like somewhere maybe in Arizona or Northern California? Do they go off to USC or UCLA? Yeah, this is crazy. I, I just, yeah. the fucking... How do you deal with practice? Yeah. They sh- they're usually playing like they're doing their spring games by now, you know, like I just I don't I don't see the schools reopening anytime soon. No, so, I mean, I don't football think anybody's going to take that risk. Yeah. College football is in a bad spot, dude. Tough shit. Uh huh. Where are we? Here? I mean, the NCAA already lost a lot of money with losing March Madness. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. what's another couple hundred million? Any- oh, I'm so, I feel so sad for the NCAA. They've got oh, probably nobody a gives surplus. A fuck about the NCAA. Right. They're a nonprofit that has a surplus of revenue out the fucking asshole. Well, most of those companies are nonprofits. The IOC is a nonprofit. FIFA is a nonprofit. Most mm-hmm. medical systems are nonprofits. Yeah, right. Churches, tax free and nonprofit. Yeah. Oh yeah! All right, David. I mean, why don't we call ourselves a nonprofit so we don't have to pay tax? Uh, that's how things are going this month. <laughs> uh, David Benjamin. Mm-hmm. The Brown schedule was released recently. Only thing I don't get is why are they playing the Jets and Giants back to back in New York? It's just odd. Maybe they'll just stay the weekend in New Jersey, you know, and not not go back to Cleveland. I don't know. There's, there's some there's some mathematical equation that they use to make the schedule. It's not they don't always interject logic and in, into it. It's like some software program. That does it? Makai Wilson, Week One, Monday Night, Steelers versus Giants. This can only mean one thing, lads: a heavy weight dumpster fire bowl. Get height. Last time the Steelers played the Giants, I think, uh, was Mike Wallace on that team? Tree's dead. Yeah, I, I, I'm. you're still cutting off. Yeah, Tree's dead. Tree, yeah, we're pretty much dead. Tree, you're dead. We, we hardcore dead. Mm-hmm. My internet has apparently gotten coronavirus, and I don't get... Yeah, it just cut off at the end. Mm-hmm. Good old internet. Good old internet. I don't know if it's Discord, or maybe we should switch over to Google Hangouts for this. I'm gonna try one thing. I'll be right back. Okay, maybe not having shitty internet. Why don't you try that, dumb fuck? Look, he's not even here to defend himself. All right, Chargers belong in San Diego. He's going to reset his his router. He's, have you tried turning it on and turning it off again? Chargers belong in San Diego. I want hockey to be back already more than any sport out there. I was enjoying the Blues season and the stupid virus has to ruin everything, man. Yeah, the Blues might might have been uh, going uh, back to back. Very real. You know, you climb the mountain once and then you become insufferable. That's what would have happened. What would have happened? Mm-hmm. Alex, do not abuse your mod powers. Okay. I know that with with great power comes great apol- responsibility. Apollability. <laughs> responsibility. Kevin Sika, shout out to Barry McCockiner for banning everyone. Who called out one of his weaker troll attempts? Real tough scene. Here's to hopefully having live sports soon and nobody getting sick. You know, Barry told me that he doesn't block anybody, so I don't know how what happens right there. He said he said he's never blocked anyone, which I don't know why he would block anyone. But his trolls haven't been as good lately because there's no new shit to do. But he's gotten some some check marks. Sometimes he borders on really malicious stuff, and then, I don't know. Barry Barry knows what he's doing, though. Trust in Barry. 
Mm-hmm. Griffon Tyrol, as a Northwesterner, I wonder how the Mariners would break my heart this time by not playing any baseball. Mm-hmm. That's what he says, Kevin. I don't know. You can prove it. I mean, some, but he's also said, I don't remember blocking anyone, but he could, he's a troll. He's a troll. So it's very possible that he's trolling you. All right. All right. A little better. Yeah. Yeah. You you do sound a little better. Not any less gay, but a little Uh, better. I tried like a 5G, but like, I, I have no idea what's going on. I have nothing else running. So it's just. Are you on your phone? No. You sound better. This is better. You should steal the internet from your neighbor. That's that's cool. probably what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to hardwire it or something. Just get a long wire, dude. Order that shit off Amazon. Fucking. Uh, I will have to steal internet off Amazon. Yeah, that's probably have, a good idea. They have that touchless delivery. You don't get molested touchless. anymore. Ooh, touchless. Yeah. I nice. like the touch touching delivery where they just you know they finger your ball sack and they're like oh yeah that's what they always do that's dude what it was before. they get you with the ball sack yep lap dances are dead too right like wouldn't you say that lap dances are done after this no one's gonna get a fucking lap dance potluck I don't know lap. man you could still get people desperate for affection maybe they might get like virtual sex maybe they you know, would like put... the VR headsets they'll probably revolutionize that. And yeah. we'll have to have, and we'll get like avatars and have sex with each other in that True. instead of in real life. It, it'll be like Demolition Man. It's time for the sex dolls. It's time. <laughs> John Randall McKendrick. That's where we're topping off here or, or picking back up. Woo! Finally made it back to the dumpster fire. Great to see that y'all are doing well. I mean, well is like a relative term. Like well right now just means you have not killed yourself or anybody else. Wouldn't you say? I mean, well is alive. Cuz yeah. uh that's what it is. I like this next one from Michael Earl. You read it. And your internet sucks again. Yeah, I'm kind of there. I'm just waiting for this YouTube stream to reload. So I <laughs> I'm waiting for this porn to download. I figured while I'm fucking on the stream, I'll get my shit ready for later. Start something for later. Got No, I'm not that. that efficient to download porn at the same time as this. Oh, yeah, that's true. Who downloads an entire movie and is just like, I'm going to watch that whole thing. Pretty much. That's pretty much all you can really do with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Are you waiting for it to refresh? Yeah, I'm waiting for yeah. it to refresh. see how many I can read while you're waiting for that. It's Michael Earl for four ninety nine. dollars RIP Booger making obvious comments. You got to go for two now because going for two would make a 1916 a three-point game. one four twenty. Now, you see, I will not be on Monday Night Football anymore. Because I was fired. That does you not sound allow a lot me. better now. You're not doing that robotic shit. Thank no. God. That will allow me. That will not allow the Boogamobile to be on the sideline. You see, my crooked fingers will no longer you see, be. See, if ro- I break my router, it means I will no longer have internet access. That's the worst Booger McFarland I've ever heard. Well, I'm not trying to imitate Booger McFarlane. I really don't give a shit about imitating Booger McFarlane properly because he poorly imitated an NFL commentator. Don't you shut the fuck up. Plan B, skatebird. Why does Earl Thomas keep embarrassing my bird? So Earl Thomas held it wife by his wife. His wife held him at gunpoint. Yes. Because he was messing around with a bunch of random shit. Held at gunpoint by his own wife after he was like what running a train on some girl and like it was like very or like scatty. a couple you know, like he was messing with a couple girls I think yeah and, and then like, a, he like he, he mentioned like a snap he put it on fucking Snapchat be like him right here and then his wife found out because she's friends with him on Snapchat uh-huh. she got pissed and ran she didn't realize the gun was loaded she took out the magazine but. She never like unloaded the uh, the the um the gauge, 
so, so that was, was a loaded live. gun. Yeah. Yeah, so, it was a loaded gun. So she just threatened she actually, him. Yeah, that's what uh, he said when he tried to um, – when the condom broke. The gun well, – I, I didn't realize this gun I was loaded. I didn't realize the gun was loaded, man. Should have just entered the Jack Off contest, Earl. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Can you see this one from Jared Bruss for twenty five dollars? Yep. Dance monkey, dance. I remember that one from earlier. I'm still trying to load this damn thing in. That's it's kind of getting most, better, but yeah, that's one of the worst songs ever. It sounds like the the lady that sings it. When you dance for me, dance for me. It's like so repetitive and it's just stupid. I hate that song. That song is whack. Mm hmm. Everything's whack. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you're just like, oh, shut up, you fucking lady. You sound stupid. Especially for you. It is not catchy, Tony MCC. It's yes, it's catchy like the coronavirus. It's fucking ear rape. God, be and careful about that. Demonetize. Yes, that dance monkey song is terrible. What about a monkey on a bike trying to steal a kid? <laughs> Have you seen that? Where the monkey rolls up on a bike and takes the toddler and drags her through the street? No, I have not seen that. It's frightening. You don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Texas Cowboy 817. I want to talk about the Texas Baseball Rangers. What's there to talk about? Not much. They have a new stadium, and that's really mm-hmm. about it. And they have Corey Kluber. And I'm back on just to let you know. I'll take maybe, care of these Alex Moreno. All right, maybe, maybe later, Texas Cowboys eight one seven. Not Jared. Much to talk no. About. Okay. That song makes me want to die. No. Yeah, oh. no. That song is terrible. Mm-hmm. I once had snoo snoo. Commander Zap Brannigan, who was supposed to be played by Phil Hartman before his wife went batshit. Zap Brannigan would have an excellent solution to the coronavirus. We give it to everyone. We send wave after wave of men, <laughs> and then we expose its kilometer. We max it out. That's how we beat the coronavirus. That's how we do it. We just send wave after wave of men. Everyone excited for this next battle, and everyone's in the cafeteria like, uh You suck. <laughs> All right. Jared Froman for five. Out of your favorite teams, which ones do you miss the most, and which one do you miss the least? Well, there's only two that would be playing right now. I miss the Pens the most, and I miss the Pirates the least. Because the only reason the good were the Pirates for is having a quiet night out. Because nobody gave a shit about the Pirates. Yeah, I miss the Rangers a lot. They were doing well. Yeah. Like, they look like they have promise for the future. My heart aches for the Rangers, and I do not miss the Knicks at all. The Knicks were terrible. The Knicks are dog shit. The Pirates oh, were going to be dog shit anyway. So even if the pi- season's canceled, it's like whatever. Oh, shit. I think I think me stepping in shit, rubbing the shit all over my body, and then instead of taking a bath, like just letting the shit just sit on me for a while, would be better than the Knicks. Mm-hmm. Yep. Corona right. was so bad it couldn't even kill James Dolan. I know. I know. Corona couldn't even kill Harvey Weinstein. I know, mm-hmm. yeah. but it took Siegfried, or was it Roy? It took it took like one of the other guys. I think it took one of their handlers. No, it took Roy. It took Roy. Yeah. Oh. Life. Is, I didn't realize it took fair. Roy. No, nah, yeah, Roy's dead. Shit. Siegfried almost got eaten by a tiger, and then Roy dies from the Rona. It's fucking bullshit. I didn't realize Roy died. I thought yeah. it was like one of the handlers. No. Shit. Oh. Let me ask you this. Do you think do you think they were gay? Everything's gay. True. True. Uh we're gay. For sure. All right. Keep reading. Yep. I, I can definitely keep reading. I didn't realize that guy died. Fuck. Yep. Yep. Peace to Metal 1989 for 10. All of this time, the pain eating us away. All this time, the memories refuse to fade. A rotting shell of dying trust. We share this hell at any cost. Arch enemy, web of lies. Web of lies. You sit on a web of lies. Uncultured barbarian for five. NASCAR drove off the loyal fans and screwed over small towns that relied on the income from races. Rockingham. Mm -hmm. North Wilkesboro. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, Nazareth, I think, too. Yeah, they now they Bristol, show. Martinsville, all those little... Bristol got fucked up. Like, yeah. that was one of the greatest tracks, and they fucking ruined it. It's just amazing, though. Like, Bristol is, like, a, a fucking stoplight, one stoplight town, basically. And that fucking stadium used to fill, like... Oh, to it was brim. an outstanding track. It was mm-hmm. short track racing that was just brutal. Yeah. They and then they people... changed up the, the angles, the paving, and mm-hmm. they jacked up the prices, and... Now it's fucking dead. Yep. yep. Nobody's get... there. I remember, as I said, like in the NASCAR vid I did a couple years ago, it's like I was at the gym watching Bristol. I'm like, how empty is this? Right, Black, this isn't Bristol. BFM's weighing in. He said Bristol almost sold out last year, though. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gotta be careful about that. Like, he's I mean, saying, Bristol saying, had to get their shit together. He's saying the way Bristol is now is perfect. But I'm telling you, man, they used to get everybody from Tennessee and Virginia just just don't, going down to Bristol, man. They, they would take get a get a uh, school bus and just go up the mountain and pick them off the mountain and be like, we're going to the race, man. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. They don't make NASCAR drivers like they used to. They mm-hmm. were showing um, 2004 Martinsville. You see all those old, like, the old guard of racers. You know, Mark Martin, Terry Labonte, Ricky Rudd, uh, Sterling Marlin. Harry Gant. Dale Jarrett. Mm-hmm. Harry Gant uh, it was in 2004. No, I was no, more like I'm just, I'm just bringing up old names. I'm just naming old NASCAR yeah, guys. Yeah. David but like Pearson. Back then, like, was like Bill Elliott. Like, they don't make drivers like that anymore. Ernie Irvin, Bobby Allison, Ernie Davey Irvin. Allison. Davey Allison. Mark Martin. Tim Richmond. Tim Richmond. Alan Colwicky. Alan Colwicky. Mm-hmm. The Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt. Oh, we're just naming dead NASCAR drivers, Adam Petty. Morgan Shepard, uh-huh. who's not dead. He's actually, he's I think he, he's still racing, isn't Lord he? Lord Burton. Morgan Shepard is not racing. I want to say he is. He's, he's been doing shit. like Bush he's series like shit. a couple of years ago. I want to mm-hmm. say he's still active. Yeah, okay. Dude's like a fucking legend. He's like he late 70s legend. and he's still racing. Lake Speed, probably the greatest. Speed, that was the greatest NASCAR name ever. Kale Yarber. Uh huh. Wow, twenty years since Adam Petty died today. That really changed the sport, big time. It wasn't really Adam Petty. It's um, who was the other guy? Kenny Irwin Jr. It was like two that died. It was Dale that killed. Oh, they had a bunch of crashes, and then Dale was the last straw. And they're like, all right, Hans Device, spring loaded seats, crash. Yeah, crash fence. If they they changed anything with Adam Petty or Kenny Irwin, then Dale might still be alive. Well, Dale was stubborn. Anyways, uh, Beast of Metal 1989, $10. If my brain on drugs were Stewie Griffin's brain after two concussions in short order in the CT episode of Family Guy, I'd be fine with that. Wait, why is everyone suddenly giving me death glares? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Isaac Foote, fuck my physics three professor up his rectum. Damn, he failed you oh, during the geez. Rona time? That's fucked up. It's that son- online shit, dude. My son entering the Rona had like a 40 in Spanish and he got it like a C <laughs> out of this. He was failing that shit, but uh, he did all his makeup work. Uh-huh. All right. Read. Um... Kirk Coble. Yes. I'm so sick of there being no hockey. The one year my team might make the playoffs or makes the playoffs. I think Vancouver was close and everything gets shut down. At least give Hughes the Calder. Oh, wait, he might be an Edmonton guy. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know if they were going to do anything, but like they were back finally. Yeah, you know? they were back. You know, Thank Connor McDavid God. is too good to have teams that don't make the playoffs. Oh, like, of that, course. That Dude, would be a Edmonton tragedy. should be a dynasty with how many first round picks they've had. Oh, my gosh. Well, when you wasted on Na- Nail Yakupov. Nail Yakupov mm-hmm. and Brian New Hopkins, who doesn't really develop into what he is. And Taylor Hall, who traded for. Uh, gamble and then the only ones who really panned out are what dry side old nurse and mcdavid nuge hopkins all right you're Eber- just a second Eber- liner though Eber- eberly's decent right yeah and then eberly got shipped off taylor of hall course. yeah taylor hall got shipped nuge yeah is eberly decent. was weird like he was good but he never really like you know took off he's a solid player they he, just got screwed they didn't have a left lafreniere or a cop capo in the drafts you know they didn't have you know they obviously got it right with mcdavid but dude you, know. you could have a toddler pick mcdavid that's true 
A toddler did pick McDavid. Alex Moreno, Tree, can we get an F you Newsome? We all hate him. Fuck you, Newsome. Oh, well, Newsom's like weird. Like he's getting hyper paranoid about this shit. As I said, LA extended the lockdown until July. Gavin Newsom. Well, he's just trying. There, he's trying to prevent the second wave. Of I don't know if yeah, there's anything you can really prevent. I mean, you can delay it for as long as you can, but I say we just send wave after wave of man at this thing, and then uh... I don't know. Can we get them? Americans might agree to that if they outsource it. <laughs> Can't we just send some brown people at this thing? Yeah, it's just mm-hmm. like, you know, send it to Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> Can't we just? Can't we just send it to? Yeah. Give it to Sam. <laughs> Kevin von Michael Magnum. I always read that wrong. Fun fact I found during quarantine: the record for the Tennessee Titans in the 2069. And 91, the record in the 2000s, 91 and 69. Nice and balanced, as all things should be. The Redskins were like that for a while, too. Like, they're around 500. 69. All right, Kevin, come in and... How'd you find that fact, Kevin? Did I find that fact? Mm-hmm. Google? Uh, just somewhere. Mm-hmm. Did you pull it out of your ass? That and I actually did the actual math. Just oh. realized because someone spoke to it on Twitter. I'm like, what? The-? Do you eat an edible and do it? Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. I was. I don't do the drugs. Mm-hmm. Do all the drugs. Son, are you on the pot? No. I live in Tennessee. If I was, I'd be arrested. Oh, that's right. Hey, it's a... Moreno, I think, is the one that does the pot because... <laughs> In his state, it's legal. Yeah. Well, here in Virginia, it's like a ten dollar fine or something now, starting July first. Mm-hmm. Ten dollars. Yeah. Fifteen, twenty, something like that. It's like a, it's a non-criminal misdemeanor, something like that. They decriminalized it, but they're also like, hey, we're gonna ban assault weapons. So. Yeah, we're gonna take all your assault weapons. You have a two-year, mm-hmm. two-year grace we're period. If you don't give us give us your AR-15, we will come to your house. Uh huh. I'm gonna turn my gun safe into the Sons of Anarchy back there. <laughs> You're gonna rig it to explode? Yeah, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have, get the Irish connection. That's right. All right. Uh, hey, Alex. But, yeah, not yet, Alex. All right, Kevin, you may go back to your Brady hole. Uh, All right. Later. Later. Peace. All right. Uh, it's fun just being a fucking asshole. Alex Moreno, this quarantine is really getting us to us here in California. It's getting to everyone. It's oh, dude, getting... I'm losing my mind. I've had enough, I'd say. Don't you go through days where you're just like, fuck it, open it all up. Just open it I'm, all I'm up. Not, I'm honestly turning into that twat from Florida. If I get Corona, I get Corona. Uh huh. Starting to turn into the into you're that, that kid now. Like fuck it. I'm like, this is stupid. I want to get back to like you know gym. The gym was my escape from this shit. Yeah. I now miss- it's just like, ugh. I really miss I'm masturbating like- in public because I used to do it. You home. seem like the kind of dude who would wear nothing but an overcoat and flash like random women. Duh. You seem and- like that kind of dude. And that's gone now. I can't even do it. Hold on. I gotta adjust the. Uh- the green screen here keep reading some um snap for chats whoa disappeared there we go back to normal all right read some snappers all right let's get some super chat in here beast of metal beast Beast of metal 1989 for 10 speaking of flurry i saw an article title on the athletic talking about the time he made an amazing save on ovi in the playoffs and actually thought which one for a second predictably it was 2009 yep um that was the other one that like he he like did a uh shaft motion with the stick that kind of looked like um he was preparing for the games Uh (laughs) uh-huh yep yeah oh he did a little shaft thingy yeah remember like he um Ovechkin had a shot and it went off like the uh, the shaft of his goalie stick. 
Oh. And then he's like, he's like rubbing it to like give it good luck, and it looked like he was jacking it off. Oh, I'll have to find that clip and isolate yeah. it for whenever I do my next triggering the NHL. Mm-hmm. That fucking well, video most cheatingest moment got demonetized. Yeah. Two thousand nine game seven was the one. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was third period. I think first period. Then Crosby scored in a breakaway later that game. I can't believe that the Caps won a fucking Stanley Cup. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, whatever. It was gonna happen. But it's like, it, it was long overdue. I mean, yeah. it, sometimes like the memes get old after a while. Like I would have loved the second round Penguins meme, but after a while, it's like, eh, fuck. yeah, I know. All what of- I've learned over this time is memes they die and they regrow with time. All good memes come to an end. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Said the, the Kansas the City memes were getting stale anyway. Lord. Reed yeah. memes were getting stale. The Nationals memes were like, Ugh. yeah, Nationals Those memes, memes were just like, if they lost again, it would have been like, oh boy. I, t- I tell you which memes. Again. I tell you Yay. which memes I never get sick of. Leafs memes. Never get sick of that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Alex Moreto, worst NFL stadium now that Oakland Coliseum is gone. Wow. Whew, Coliseum worst. is gone. What a shame. FedEx is pretty bad. Not just from uh, not from watching the game, but leaving FedEx is like giving FedEx it, from us. Yeah, it's like going through uh, labor. Dan Snyder wants a new stadium and it's only 20 years old. Paul Brown is apparently a little iffy. Mm. I've never been, but Soldier Field, I hear, is bad. Cincinnati because they've got fucked over by taxes yeah um yeah fedex is pretty bad uh what else is a bad bad stadium gosh well la they're all getting new bad stadiums anymore yeah it's true raymond cutter stadiums are gone and now they're more individualized and focusing on hey why don't we suck soldier field soldiers once they got you know ever big like they change the exterior and turn it into like a weird dome Duval's pretty bad. New Era, yeah. Buffalo's field is the same. It's the old Ralph Wilson, basically, with a with an upper deck on it. Mm-hmm. Did you ever do an upper decker at a party? You know what that How is? How long until they pitch about a new stadium and move? Uh, Buffalo will never move. Mm-hmm. Depends who buys it. It's true. Pagula's, they'll, they'll, they'll hold on to it with tooth and nail. I'm actually going to do a video on why Oakland's left with that coliseum oakland's left with a rampant homeless population and infrastructure issues Mm -hmm. that's what they're left with yeah lots of violence lots of Mm -hmm. lots of they probably saved their long-term future though it's true big daddy sizzler fi you can tell the nfl schedule has been released somehow all 32 teams are going to finish between 11 and 5 and 15 to 1 according to the fan predictions uh i have no um misgivings about the giants this year six wins i think it's going to be the same for the steelers eight or nine wins six wins defense is going to bail them out a lot yeah yeah because you got fitzpatrick i'm sorry fitzpatrick Mm -hmm. i am for real uh this one's interesting donovan gibbs Stumbled across a YouTube vid titled 100 Push-Ups for 30 Days Challenge. I'm currently on my third day of this challenge. Wish me luck, boys. You're going to get tendonitis. Mm -hmm. We all get tendonitis. I've had tendonitis in my right arm here from jacking off. I got to rest it for the tournament. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, at the bottom of my bicep, it's been sore for... Six months now. It's been really bad. It's what happens when you get old and ugly. It's what happens when you jack off too much. You get old and you just fucking beat that shit off. You beat it off. That's right. You fucking fuck. Always. Always jacking off. All right. Beast of Metal, 1989. Earl and his brother set up an orgy for themselves. Mm. Hey, I don't blame them. They're dude. spreading Rona. They're going to cause a second outbreak of women holding their man at gunpoint. Mm-hmm. Read this, Jared Warren. I think that's a new one. Look it up. 
it, 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 read it. Yep, Jared Warren. Forgive me if you've answered already, but will we see a special dumpster fire MetLife experience on Monday yeah. Night Football Week One between the Steelers and Giants? What we should do is you get ch- we get chiseled Adonis, and then I'll get Bengal, and we'll just yell at each other. The whole Pretty time. much. How about that? We'll try to get yep. them on the show. That's fine by me. That's what I'd say, probably. Eh. But that, I, I'm going to deal with that. I mean, Joey Daniel Jones is probably going to – Well, how many times do you think Daniel Jones is going to fumble between zero and five? Uh, he's going to fumble a lot. He fumbles a lot. Too much. Too much fumbling. All right, let me keep reading while I try to get Joey in here. So – Keep going. You dead? You dead? I forgot they still had two. I thought they dropped to one. Uh, yeah. Joey, accept your friend request from me, by the way, so you can talk on this. Ooh. Yes. Be- Beast of Metal 1989 for 10. Oh, sorry, August, Alex Moreno for two. My bad. NASCAR shut down lots of tracks in SoCal during the 80s. I do remember. There were like a bunch yeah. of like road tracks they had, didn't they? Yeah, road courses. There's only like yep. a couple now. Sonoma. Yeah, they had, some, they had a lot of older road mm-hmm. courses. I'll have to look them up on YouTube sometime. Mm-hmm. Like very old stuff in the 80s. Big Daddy Sizzlify for five. Uh, F Lake Speed, Richard Trickle is, was, and always will be the man. Dick Trickle. Everybody loved Dick Trickle. Yeah. Dick Trickle, tragic ending to his life. Mm-hmm. He was a legendary dirt track racer, man. Yeah. Legendary name, Dick Trickle. Not mm-hmm. not to be confused with Rich Bickle. Or Cole Trickle. Cole Trickle. Under. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cole Trickle, man. All right. And here's none of the beast of metal for 10. If you want to understand the timelines of events around NASCAR's BSF fatalities and the implementation of the Hans device, set aside approximately an hour and a half to watch 3 Before February from Brock Beard. Okay. I'll set that shit aside. Mm -hmm. Shut that shit aside hard. Yep. Cranges McBasketball for 20. Thanks, brother. On the subject of NASCAR, the Chiefs system screwed Jeff Gordon out of multiple championships. He'd be a seven- or eight-time champion if not for the chase. I think that was one of the reasons why they did the chase, because they didn't want Jeff Gordon to win. Yeah, they're tired of Jeff Gordon and a California boy winning all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like golf and Tiger Woods. It's like, oh, boy, Tiger Woods won another tournament. That's just great. Let's get him to cheat on his wife and do drugs. There's a reason IndyCar and F1 don't do playoff systems. They don't work. I feel like what would be best is if they did like a round, like a like a season long championship, and then maybe like a playoff style format throughout the year. Like okay. have two championships, oh. like have one that's just like oh most points in a year. There's your main champion, and then you have like regular your, season your gimmick and... playoff series right. that you have like ML you know, a best of three races, and the person that wins the most like has the higher finish gets to go on to the next round. Ooh, like a just bracket? do it like that bracket just have two championships yeah Mm -hmm. that's how i do it i like how formula one is done it's just it mean every race means something you know every every race race does mean something you have different point systems but formula one can get really like Mm -hmm. yeah but the bland because like it's more tactical than really racy yeah formula one though they have the constructors cup and then the actual drivers winning and I mean, those, in that the constructors' cup is huge. You know, mm-hmm. like we we don't we don't care as much about which team wins it in NASCAR. We only care about the driver and the individual. But in Formula One, they care a lot about the team. Oh, they care about it's not just the team. It's about like the uh, the car manufacturer too. Mm-hmm. I think they have a cup for that too, right? Yeah, uh, that's the constructors' cup. Yeah, I mean, essentially, well. Uh, I don't know. I thought they were, I thought they were different things, but I guess Anyways. not. Cranjus basketball, by the way, very funny reference to, uh, 
and Practical Jokers. The 368. The three, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. For 10. Did any of you watch the UFC event on Saturday? And if so, how did you feel about there being no crowd and hearing every punch hitting flesh? If you did, if you didn't watch it, take my 999 anyways. I wasn't able to watch it, unfortunately. I did not watch any. I didn't order the pay-per-view, but I've sat ringside at so many events. And yeah, it's pretty bad when you hear someone's face just get hit. In like it's way different than watching it from a distance. I mean, you hear like the squish and the sweat coming off of someone. It's pretty violent. Ringside. It's like, oh shit, that dude just got clocked. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I'm very glad I'm not that guy. I'd like to be the one punching, but you know. Oh yeah, nobody wants to get punched. This is one of those things where it's better to give than receive. Mm-hmm. All right, I like this one here. Uh, Uncultured Barbarian. My therapist congratulated me on my resilience during this pandemic. I guess this mentally ill man who's going to be 51 in a month is handling this better than you youngsters. Buck up, buttercups. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad. I did not realize he was 51. Yeah, Yeah. I I did not know that. But I'm glad that you're handling it well and that you should be commended. This is tough times. Honestly, like a lot of people are having trouble with this. It's not just the mentally ill. It's people who are just normal and have had their lives just completely shattered yeah. that are having issues. Yeah. Some guy named some uh, people who have no idea crazy. where their next meal's coming from. People yeah. who have just uh, have a bunch of kids they don't know what to do with. Uh, they're, they're not able to go to jobs. They may be commuting mm-hmm. from like working from home. They have entirely their entire life structure is gone. Yeah. Yeah, this sucks, dude. It sucks. Oh, of course. There's people does. hurting no matter what the situation is. And everybody is. I mean, even like guys like us, like we can still technically work, but like I, I mean, we've taken like pay hits. And I'm not yeah. trying to do this out of pity. It's just because like sponsors have pulled out. Yeah. And yeah. it's just an yeah. inevitability. Like yeah. n- nobody's advertising right now. Just even like- YouTube's feeling this. This isn't just us. This is everyone. Just like your dad should have. The sponsors are pulling out. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's how your dad should have been too. But unfortunately, he wanted to torture us with another Mets fan in the world. So that's yeah, why he birthed you. I don't know you. why he did that. He just it's because he's it. an asshole. Yeah, I know. See, the first punishment was birthing you. The second punishment was get making you a Mets fan. Yeah, I know. What a dick. And it got me to like right in 1986. Like 85, 86 when they were good. And I was like, oh, shit, the Mets are going to win like every World Series from now mm-hmm. on. And then they turn and into a track. They, he, he got it was like that free sample of crack. Mm-hmm. Jared Brussell says, I wasn't talking about the song. I was telling you guys to dance. OK, dance. that's what I thought. Dance, like he's dancing. I'm dancing like Ricky Berwick. And I'm not. I think that calls for another. I'm not trying to make fun of Ricky Berwick, but this is how he dances. Kind of. Right. Sorry. Uh, That's how I imagine a monkey would dance. Well, Ricky Berwick has like just resilience and skin of steel. He He just does not give a fuck. Yeah. How is he not verified on Twitter? Like, like. (laughs) Because all the good accounts aren't verified on Twitter. I know. You have to bitch about politics and random shit all the time to be verified. Ricky was, he was on Tosh.0. Like, he is definitely checkmarked. EDP wasn't Tosh.0. That's true. Where's his? Well, he's too busy jacking off. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alex Moreno, Panthers are looking for a new stadium right now. I didn't know that. Check out Aussie V8 Touring Car Racing. It's dope. Oh, okay. I'll check it out. All right. We are going to bring in um, Joey Overstreet to talk about his uh, collection of jerseys. Very nice. You got to accept the invite, Joey. Permissions. Uh, To the server. Yeah. Accept the invite, sir. Where is he? Uh, Joey? Joe. Oh. Joey! He just sent me a message. 
Oh, and Alex, we get, we're going to sing the Alex song, but I want to bring in Joe. You come in at, later after this, Alex. But Joey's supposed to accept the invite to the server. Anyways, he's typing. Accept. That's all it always is. He says he's That's typing. That's how it always right. goes. Uh, Junio Rudy says, if you guys really need that sports fix, Bundesliga is back on the 16th. If it all goes well, do you think other sports leagues follow? Um, Yeah, I mean, NASCAR's bad. You know, the WWE hasn't missed a show, right? And they're not dead. So, I don't get what this, what this irrational, rational fear is. No, it's, it's crazy. How does Discord know. work? Well, you accept that, Joey, and then you join the server. It's like Skype, server. but apparently with gaming. Right. So then you ju accept that. Oh, there he is. Okay. Now he can view the channel, connect, and speak. And, okay. All right. Now, Joey, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see my server on there on down the left hand side you'll see the five on there click on that this is this is the dumpster fire the dumpster fire uh -huh. click on it how does discord work i don't know how does it did work? it work there he is did it work yeah hey, all right up? you got a minute to talk about this jersey collection of yours what do you want to talk about? Okay, so funny enough, the Blaine Gabbert and the Jamarcus Russell jerseys in that picture I showed you are her child's extra large, oh, so they don't fit nice. me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they how'd you the get those? I could find on eBay. Wow. On eBay. I oh, found okay. them on eBay. What are you going to add yeah. to the collection now? Did you get the Deshaun Kaiser? No, because the Browns want $50 for it on their actual website. I'm not paying fifty dollars for Kaiser. I. It's true, but so. the laughability. Uh, maybe you should reserve a Jared Goff jersey now. What you need to do is buy a Cam Newton and Tom Brady jersey, and then turn that into a Deshaun Kaiser jersey. Well, treat this is this is going to hurt you. Um, I'm actually for my blessed collection. I'm looking for a um, Andrew Luck jersey. Eh, I know. That's what you're going to know. Are you going to get a Paxton Lynch? Do you have a Paxton Lynch? Uh, okay. I have a Tim Tebow, but not a Paxton Lynch. I'm looking into it. Right, I'm you need to get it. a Lynch because he was pretty bad. Because he wanted well, to play I've got Fortnite. A, I got a car, and then I got a Campbell, a Jason Campbell. Oh, that's uh, Campbell, not bad. Not a bad bug. Um, Let's see. what. Oh, I got Tim Couch. Tim Couch. That's an all-time yeah, bug. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then I'm wearing a David Carr right now. Nice. Oh. Nice. David Carr. I'm wearing a David Carr. Back. Be careful. You should get convicted and, criminal, though, too. Like, you should go Ray Carruth, O.J. Simpson, <laughs> Earl Thomas. Um, well, O.J. wasn't a bust, though, really. No, I'm talking a, a separate category of jerseys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, from bust. Oh, yeah. You should get, like... Aaron Hernandez? Yeah, get the Hernandez jersey. I don't think they'll let you order a Hernandez jersey. <laughs> that's that's going to be tough. You well, do need to get you... an Aaron Hernandez jersey for the well, collection. Well, so I'm actually going to do a YouTube series about the histories of behind the jersey. So I'm looking up the stats for David Carr, and I actually found out that David Carr has a Super Bowl ring. He does. 2008. Yeah, the Giants. The Giants. Yeah. Or, yep. No, 2011. And I didn't know. Super Bowl 46, he was uh, Eli's backup. Uh-huh. And, and Jared he didn't, da he didn't play a down of football. No. No, Eli did not come out that entire year. So, it's uh, How did maybe. Eli win, man? That how how did hot. they beat a 16 and 0 red hot Patriots team? He was just on fire, man. The, the the defense that year was very good for the Giants. That that's how they did it. That was a strong defense. All right, we're, it's well, time yeah. it's time to wrap up here. But thanks for coming in, Joey. I appreciate your commentary and adding into the show. Do you have anything you want to tell the people? Yes. Broncos are the best team and Mile High is the best stadium. 
And I'll never forgive the Giants for Super Bowl 22. Never. Mm-hmm. 42 to 10. Was that the final? Like that. No, 38. It yeah. was like 38 to 20, 22. One more quick thing. Tree, I credit my love of hockey to you. Just so you know. Thank you. Bro. Go Avs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Go Avs. All right. All right. Thanks. I'll talk to you guys later, man. All right. It was nice. It was nice chatting. Joey Peace Dallas. out, brother. All right. Alex. Come in here and he a come come in he a he a. Yo, what's up? Are you what's up? are you busy contracting the Rona from being forced to go back into production? <laughs> Shit, no. I I've been working from home, man. That's what I thought. Yeah, I was like, you're an dude's an engineer. He doesn't have to fucking go on the line. I'm straight. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, how you doing, man? Doing all right. All right. Uh. Alex, we're going to sing your little fucking song here to Yay. end the show. Oh, God. Scrub oh, God geez. says, still blaming Kyle Williams for this giant Super Bowl win. Yeah, thank you, Kyle. Appreciate <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. That was one of the toughest games I've ever seen. All right, where, is this, where are these lyrics that Alex sent? These lyrics are right. the tune of passengers Ravens <laughs> Overthrow. This is way too long, man. Yeah, dude, like, I have no idea what the song is. All right, I'm going to... I'm only going to read the, do the chorus once. Uh, yeah, okay. There's only really... Okay. Well, you only... T okay. <laughs> do you know this the tune of this song, Tree? I have no idea. So I'd have to sing the whole thing. I mean, I'll have to look well, up you online. You only take a shit oh. when you gotta go. Only know a Jenner oh, when she okay. is a hoe. Only know Joe Flacco when he overthrows, and he overthrows. Joe Flacco doesn't overthrow. He underthrows. Yeah. Come on. True. He's a check down man. Staring at receivers like a tart, walking the sidelines full of shard. <laughs> Couldn't make the Ravens pay you much. They got a running back who's playing clutch. He wanted all his money in a lump, and now he's just a backup in a dump. I got it from here. Okay. Well, you only take a shit when you got a goal. Only know a Jenner when she is a hoe. Only know Joe Flacco when he overthrows. And he overthrow. <laughs> All right. Uh, you only, only know Malcolm Jenkins know... when he hits a low. You only know the subway when it smells like B.O. You only know Baldy when his bunching grows. And his bunching grows. <laughs> <laughs> Losing to the Titans was a punch. Derrick Henry and their defense just for lunch. Oh, wait. Derrick Henry ate their defense just for lunch. Lamar Jackson is a running back. He's easily faster than a Pontiac. We all know the Steelers love this part. But Permanti smells like farts. <laughs> <laughs> it probably does. Yes. All right. And then the course again. Thank you. We've done it again. You bastard. You bastard. You bastard. You only know Malcolm Jenkins when his hits are low. You only know the subway when it smells like B.O. <laughs> All right. We've done it. Okay. We got one more super chat, I think, that came in, and then we can just end the fucking show. Salmon Boy 27 don't have much. Just thought I'd say hi. Thanks, Salmon Boy. Mm-hmm fire everyone and then alex will mix it up and we'll have a terrible song for you next week yes you'll have no time to sleep soldier not with all the bed making you'll be doing i, I can sleep. barely hear you alex in your sleep i think alex is watching something in the background maybe he's yeah, like he's so. just like that quiet voice that pops up in the background no, he's watching he's he's in the porn tournament right or he's in the jack off tournament yes he has to be yeah he's just dude with, with that hair makeup he's a dead yeah, ringer man uh -huh. Here, Kevin, jump in. Why not? Everybody in the pool. Oh, Everybody God. In the oh, pool. Lord. Oh, Get on shit. back to 2017 ah, again. I'm Great. Off. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. Any final thoughts, Tree, as we wrap up the show? Well, fuck everything. I finally moved back in with uh, to yeah. the main hub. I'm no longer with Mommy. What about the it's porn a, hub? It's amazing. Yep. I, I'm back at the porn hub. It's going to be a lot of jacking off. I'm, I'm prepping for the games. Oh, Is yes. your internet at least running better? It's some little. Yeah. 
It, 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 it <laughs> fucked up on me again for whatever reason. I, I have no idea why. Damn, son. I just need to send you some fucking parts or something in the mail. Yeah. Send him some parts. Oh. Send him a cookie in the mail. Go to Kickstarter mm-hmm. to get him a new router. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> Someone send me a cookie. All right. Anyways. Uh, my final thoughts are, I hope the MLB comes back. Continue to watch Korean baseball. I stand the LG Twins. And uh, everybody have a wonderful Tuesday night. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for the mods for handling shit. And uh, there's an afterburn with uh, Dodge. So, uh, all right. I'm five points vids. And uh, you made it.